right about now? Indeed I do, Mary. I have uh, one of 10,000 maniacs here. One maniac. So 2,000 maniacs. Well, it is It is Robert Buck, the guitar player. Hello, Robert. Thanks for joining us. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, and uh, we are here. You guys, you guys aren't doing a sound check today? Uh, no, no, no sound checks. So today. you're ready to just get up there and go at uh, when I the mean, time Maybe is a right. little bike ride, little shower, then I'm ready to go. Now, this is, the, this is the maniac that lived in Albany for a couple of years back at the end of the... End of the 80s. Yep, down so, off of Lark Street. Definitely a uh, homecoming of sorts. <laughs> but even I guess even if it w even if you from just from being in Jamestown and stuff, this is sort of a, a pretty close by show for all of you guys from where you grew up. Not really. It's about seven and a half eight hour drive from here. But at least so it's, in it's the closer state. than it's closer than say Moscow or you know Poland or something. Well, yeah. are you, are you going to play anything closer? Are you playing in Buffalo or? Uh, we're playing at Darien Lake up by Rochester, and we're actually playing at uh, Chautauqua Institution, which is near Jamestown. It's really? a big, big musical amphitheater. It's been around for about 100 years. So that's definitely the homecoming show. Yeah. So it's, uh, they're billing this, in a way, around here as sort of a return to the area, because you guys definitely, in the formative years of the band... Yeah, we played a lot here. Spent uh, a lot of time playing. QE2, we probably yeah. played there, you know, 18 times or something. I don't know. Now, one of the, the times in the last year or so that... I, that I saw that you guys got a lot of great press and, and were very in the forefront was at the inauguration. What was that like? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was pretty amazing just being in a room with that many celebrities. You know, it was pretty overwhelming. And, you know, getting to sit next to, like, you know, uh, the guys in U2. And, but even more than that was, like, meeting Robert De Niro was mm -hmm. pretty overwhelming. And some of the movie stars. That was, uh, that was a good set. You guys also just did an Unplugged performance. I saw it uh, on MTV. Actually, we carried it. Uh, we simulcasted it and uh, did a great song with David Byrne at yeah. the end. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. He, it was fun because he sounded sort of like uh, Roy Orbison on that song, which I thought was really neat. You know, it was a sight of David Byrne I'd never really seen before. A little country western kind of twang to his voice. Definitely. Uh, now, now, you think you might possibly put that out someday, or we don't know yet? Yeah, I think uh, probably sometime in September, October, I think we're going to release an album from that. Well, th this new album, uh, Our Timing, has definitely been a huge breakthrough for you guys, at least getting to another level of fans, it seems. Was there a uh, any conscious attempt at any point to record a more kind of radio-friendly record or a more not, optimistic record? Not really. We wanted to record a record that was had a more positive feel to it, you know, and, uh, and I think we did that. We were successful. Yeah. You know, we just wanted to make a record that made people feel good when they listened to it and when they heard it. Well, the, the songs with the James Brown horns definitely add a whole new sound to you. Uh to you guys. You guys are, you've got a horn section on the road with you, right? Yeah, we do have a horn section. Yeah, for, a for more than just those two numbers on the record? Or? Yeah, they play in a few other numbers yeah. as well, yeah. Some sort of reinterpretations of uh, older yeah, material? Yeah, a couple old reinterpretations, a couple different cover numbers. Uh. Well, you guys have done a lot of interesting covers of late. The, uh, the R.E.M. cover that was released, Morrissey cover. Uh, and I heard some weird rumors of, of maybe doing free cover live on this tour. Oh, yeah, some free, a little Dolly Parton, some Elvis. Yeah. So definitely uh, we'll get our money's worth seeing uh, you guys taking a whole whole uh, kind of wacky direction with the covers. A lot of fun, huh? Yeah. yeah who, who picks the songs? Uh, well, it's a lot of times Natalie will just start goofing on it. You know, she'll just start goofing on something and... Then, you guys will you know, we'll figure it out and you know follow along and figure it out. So it's generally Natalie's, you know, sense of '70s humor. She's definitely, uh, it seems, in the last year or so, and definitely with this record, overcome what I guess you'd call a shyness from earlier in your career and opened up a lot more. It seems, at least, with the audience. Was that a difficult process for her? Or? I think it was. You know, it's just, it was just hard for Natalie because she's been in this band ever since she was about 17 years old, and this is all she's ever done. So. You know, when that's the, all your experiences since you're a teenager, you know. But, yeah, she's great. She's great to work with. You know, I've loved that and working with Natalie for years. We all have. She's yeah. a lot of fun. Um, actually, we had uh, we had some, some friends. We had John and Mary in the studio a couple of, uh, I guess it was about two or three months ago. Do you guys ever get together at all? Is, it, is oh, the yeah. relationships are very good? Oh, yeah. We're yeah. all good friends. We, you know, hang out whenever we're anywhere. We're all hanging out. And yeah. You know, we're always, you know, John's always asking us to come play and stuff. We're always asking John and Mary to come and play with us. So it's great. I think their new album's really good, too. Great. I really uh, like Weed it. Killer's Weed Daughter. Killer's Daughter, yeah. yeah. 
And Alex Chilton, as a matter of fact, plays some guitar right. on it. I really like that one track that he's on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now, uh, I, I, this is kind of a strange question, getting back to sort of the, uh, the inauguration. I had this feeling like These Are Days was almost turning into the 20-something equivalent to Don't Stop by Fleetwood Mac. It, it almost was an anthem for that... Uh, Interesting observation. And <laughs> I wish it was true. I'm well, not sure if it is, but uh, you know, if you, anything you can do to promote that, I, <laughs> I think we've done a, done our fair share. Uh, this has been a, a great record for you guys, and, and a big record for us and, and for our listeners. Do you ever? Uh, I've heard actually people on other radio stations make this mistake. Do you ever get the Peter Buck plays guitar, or Peter Buck co-wrote this song? Confusion happen? Oh yeah, yeah. And, of course, we are related. <laughs> now, I did hear a jock say that one. Hey, here's one that was written by uh, Peter Buck of R.E.M. helping him out. That's got to be... Uh, it's hysterical, actually. Yeah, yeah. In fact, one time we were on tour with R.E.M., I went to my hotel room. I checked in the hotel, and I, I put the key and opened the uh -huh. door, and there's someone's feet in the bed. <laughs> And this face looks around, and it's Pete Buck, and then they gave us the same room because really? we had the same last names. Yep, yep. Yeah. So any good stories from the road this year? or uh? Uh, we, just, we have some good bike accidents. Been doing a lot of bicycling, uh, some you nice bicycle Take accidents. a mountain bike so. with you on the Yeah. Mountain? Yeah. yeah. Well, There's so a great area here. I don't know if you guys were have had time to explore. But I'm going uh, to in a couple minutes. Yeah, good. Okay. Put on the old spandex and get out there. Great. Well, any early arrivals, you just might see uh, guitarist Robert Buck motoring around the park. I've got the flames painted on my helmet. You'll okay. know me. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, good luck tonight. It's going to be a great night. Great night for some music here. It's back. Thank you. Yeah, it'll be fun. Plenty Take of care. tickets. Uh, plenty of tickets still available for the lawn seats. They're sold out in the seat seats, but uh, lots of room to stretch out on the lawn. And a great night. The humidity's gone away. And from backstage here, it's back. This is Jim McGuinn along with Pete. Uh, I almost <laughs> said it myself. <laughs> along Beautiful. with Robert Buck. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Great. Hey, how are you doing? Bye bye. All right. Bye. Were you sending him off in a golf court to go travel around? No, he doesn't need a golf cart. He's uh, he's got his bike here. Oh well, that's great. I want to do seven WEQX. We'll check back in with Jim a little.